Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Street Karnam. And HP's got some announcements around ArcSight that are kind of improving both speed and accuracy, or at least that's what I'm hearing. Yes. Can you can you go into a little bit of detail about what that means? Great. Yeah. So we are uh, very proud and excited to announce the uh, update for ArcSight ESM. So we're calling it 6.8C. It's an update on 6.5, and the most significant or notable uh, update is that we've improved a ton of accuracy and speed. Um, by accuracy, we mean uh, that now you're able to detect the threats more accurately. In fact, um, we've, we've disruptively improved the accuracy by 66 times, and we've made the ESM um, one of the fastest search engines for the machine data on the planet. Uh, we've increased, improved the speed by about a thousand x compared to the previous version. So it's pretty exciting, and we've we've seen our test results and beta uh, results from our customers, and we we can't wait to to go out to the public and and then talk about it more um, after this. So so what does that mean when you say that that the speed has has improved? Right. Um, you said a thousand x. What what does that mean in terms of uh, usability of the product? Right. Great, so, so think about it. If, you, know, you and I do Google search all the time, and if I want to search for, say, a specific type of a bag and where to buy it, you know, I type some keywords, and then it throws a bunch of results, and then I do shopping, and then look for discount codes. So basically, just to look for where to buy a specific bag at a discounted price, I do about 10 searches. And I'm saying that because this is a, this is a holiday season and we're doing a lot of shopping. So if you take the same context, so, so even though Google search engine is really, really good, you go back and forth about six, eight times. I mean, because uh, the search engines are um, advanced so much, with just six to 10 search engines, you're able to find the cheapest deal out there in the market. So now take the same context back into the security. If something goes wrong, you need to do a forensic investigation. It could be a simple IP address to a user trying to access a specific file or something. If so you would typically not know, you don't know what you don't know, so you don't know what to look for. You start searching in for some information in the machine, in, in your um, you know, big data, and, and try to look for some information. So it, it's not very easy to find. So most of the customers who've been using um, uh, lots of log management products, they spend hours and, hours and sometimes even days trying to f do some research on a, on, on big data. And then, you know, you can do a three or five results and it may not even mean anything. So you go back and forth and do about 30, 40 search. Because in this case, in the case of security, you don't even know what you're searching for. So with this disruptive announcement, um, we've been able to find um, events uh, which is in the billions in fraction of seconds. So we've made what we've done is technically we've created something as a bloom filter where we've created indexing on top of the indexes and especially for some specific use cases such as you know if you're looking for things that don't exist uh, like say you want to make sure that none of your employees uh, were in touch with the IP address 12.1.1 so you key in 12.1.1 into our search engine it throws up results in fraction of seconds if no one has ever you know made any contact um, in, in our labs, we've seen about three billion events per second, which is years worth of data in a second. And even if someone has already contacted, uh, if there are a ton of information, if there are millions of events, uh, because of this improved Bloom filter and search engines, so we're able to find those results in minutes. So what happens when once you find the result in, in the next minute? You have to go back and dig more on the user or some other activities. So you're basically doing similar type of Google search engines, uh, the uh, and Google search engine type of activities on this search engine to find what exactly is wrong. So we're now reducing uh, the forensic investigation from days to hours to minutes. So the speed is really, uh, you guys have, have created some layer that, that brings back the results much faster, even even if you're kind of guessing at what you might be looking for. Absolutely, yes. But but then okay, so so then that's the the speed piece of it. How right. does the accuracy translate to? I mean, obviously you want an accurate result, but right. how, 
how does this actually play out for the customer right. as being a, a better solution? So, um, Oxide is known for its correlation. I mean, there's no other vendor out there in the market who do real-time correlation you know, across the devices. I mean, there are a lot of vendors who do real-time correlation. There are a lot of vendors who do uh, who do you know cross-device correlations. Where we're the only vendor out there in the market uh, who do both uh, simultaneously. And we have further enhanced our correlation capabilities. Uh, we've, we've built new rules, we've updated all our rules, and we've also modified um, you know, uh, some of the algorithms um, at, and under the hood. And what that means is that the, 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 the alerts um, that, that throws out saying that something is wrong is more accurate. In fact, it's 66 times more accurate than before. So earlier, you know. So, so less false positives as well. Less false positives. So um, we've improved the search speeds where you're able to do a lot, you know, quick searches, and we've improved the accuracy, which means the the first, second, third result that you're getting is actually more accurate. So you're you're not only getting things faster, but you're also getting it more accurately. And when you combine them both, um, you're reducing the response time from you know typical 24 to 45 days, according to Pony Morning Studio, to to minutes, so you're you're saving a tons of time, and so this so, is so you're more likely to catch a security threat uh, closer to the event than than say days or weeks or months afterwards, where where it's already too late to really do anything. Absolutely. So what we're hoping from from our uh, from this release is to is to make sure that you know customers look at those security events and then stop things before the breach happens, as opposed to so this is. Uh, this level of speed and accuracy is good enough for our customers to actually uh, make sure that the, the the data breach won't happen and they can stop it during the attack itself. All right, so so the overarching theme here at, uh, or at least in the, the security theme at HP Discover is think like a bad guy. So so how does this uh, ArcSight announcement tie into that? Great. So. Um, it's, it's like a simple fire drill, right? So the, the reason why we say a thing like a bad guy is uh, if you want to prevent your uh, you know, home or office from, uh, from fire, you do the fire drill and that gives you all the loopholes and then tells you where the vulnerabilities are. Um, and so, so if you want to pr prevent bad guys, you have to think like a bad guy. And this specific release, what it, uh, uh, th this, th the, the, some of the specific activities that you've done around Oxide, um, also focuses on similar things. So it helps our customers to, um, uh, so the enhanced rules uh, that I was just talking about in, and the updated correlation actually has more threat profiles. And threat profile is, you know, uh, threat profile is, is a typical action or a workflow or a modus operandi of a bad guy on how um, and what he or she does things. And so this is like you, you uploaded a whole bunch of bad guys into the, the database that's underlying yes. Oxide. In fact, we have about 300 plus bad guys in Oxide where they're sitting inside and, and if they see a friend, they flag. And we've improved their speed and their accuracy as well. So, so, so we've a whole lot of bad guys inside the Oxide um, looking for their friends. You need to rebrand it as Narcside because now it's, it's telling <laughs> on the bad guys. I'll think about that. And I think we'll leave it there. Thanks, Reed. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jay.